Hi my beautiful Virgos and welcome to Arcana Priestess. Alright guys, so this is going to be your November reading. We are going to uh, intuitively pull from a couple decks and see what we get for you guys. So if you are new, welcome and if you are returning, I am so glad to have you. All of my new subscribers, every single month we do a giveaway where you can win a free tarot reading if you are um, interested in receiving more chances than just one to win a free reading feel free to follow me on instagram where we do a giveaway every single week over there all right you guys so personal readings are 30 percent off you guys so that is the black friday sale that i am doing for the month of november so feel free to take advantage of that if you are not signed up for my mailing list or following me on instagram feel free to do that as i am going to be doing pop-up sales where they're going to be just 24 hour sales or maybe like the first five or ten people get a certain discount um, but there are only going to be found on Instagram or my mailing list due to the fact that they're going to be only 24 hours. So I wouldn't have the time to make a YouTube video for each of the signs for that one. So feel free to do that as well. All right. So yeah, the link for personal is in the description box below. And let's see what we can get for you guys. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Eight of Wands, the King of Cups. Eight of Wands and the King of Cups here. Somebody is very nervous about um, expressing how they feel towards you. Somebody feels like you're going to kind of like shoo them away. They're worried about how you're going to react. This could have been somebody who did you wrong in the past, but for some of you, this is definitely a person that you've been waiting for a very long time to hear how this person feels like you have been waiting and they may have given you little crumbs little bits and little pieces but they never really truly expressed how you make them feel how they how you make them feel where they see this relationship going where they see this connection going for some of you they told you certain things but the big things the big questions that you wanted to know you never really got to find out and it looks like somebody's finally ready to express themselves to you they're just trying to figure out how they're trying to figure out how. I think that for some of you, this is actually going to be quite a big um, grand gesture that you have coming in. Some of you, this is somebody telling you that they love you for the first time. This is somebody that you might have met online here. I'm definitely getting this energy of you might have met them on an online dating site. If you haven't met this person online, then this is just somebody that you're texting every single day or calling once a day, texting once a day, checking in on social media, sending them a funny picture, whatever the case may be. It's like you're in constant communication with this person. This may also be somebody who might have disappeared at one point or just kind of ignored you at one point when you did try to bring up feelings because they weren't ready and they didn't know how to react so they kind of just froze. For some of you if that's the case it might have made you just um, assume that this person wasn't interested and you just kind of let go. Some of you are dealing with somebody who has a lot of Scorpio placements who finds you very attractive. They love the, like there's somebody here that also wants to move in with you, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio. There's this energy of somebody that wants to move in with you. There's an energy of somebody who can see themselves settling down with you. They're starting to see the bigger picture of what this connection is and you may have already noticed um, the bigger picture of this connection a long time ago. You've kind of been like, waiting for this person to catch up and it seems like they're finally about to do that here. This is somebody who has a lot of passion towards you, a lot of passion for you. You like spark this person's flame in a way that they didn't think, for some of you what I'm hearing, like they didn't think that that could happen again. So for some of you, oh wow, some of you, this is somebody who um, is a widow their partner had passed and they thought that that was going to be it, that they were never going to find anybody, you know, that made them feel anything remotely like their partner did. For those of you who are dealing with somebody who actually feels like they're not capable of receiving love. The magician here but yeah this person 
regardless of how long it took them to tell you how they feel they're ready now and they're gonna come in and they're gonna come in hot and heavy here with the magician nothing's gonna get in this person's way of having you there's a lot of things that they have to say and they finally feel like they have what it takes like you guys may not think that you come off as intimidating but you actually do come off as quite intimidating because you have this factor of you just seem so goddamn put together you seem so goddamn put together like you know where you're going what you're going to do if you do, if you're not, it's not going to work out you know what your next plan is whatever the case may be it's like you have everything ticked off and that is something that can be very intimidating this is you do not come off as somebody that wants to play around to somebody that wants to have a joke or somebody that wants to have a one night stand like no you come off as somebody who's serious somebody who's worked really hard to get yourself to where you want to be and you want somebody who's going to do the same and who's aligned with you right a lot of you guys are looking to take your relationships to the next level or you're in this energy where you're wanting something serious you're not wanting to have fun anymore you're not wanting to joke around you want to settle down um this person just felt like they had to be perfect or like they weren't ready yet so maybe this person needed to make a change within their job, whatever. I think it definitely had to do with like, this person took some sort of leap of faith, whether you're aware of it or not. They definitely had a leap of faith. Um, somebody, wow, um, this is crazy. Somebody lied about where they work. Wherever they told you they work, your place, um, your position in life, somehow this person is threatened by, they're not threatened by it. No, that's the wrong word, no. They're not threatened by it, but they want to seem equal to you. So somebody lied about their position and work here and they gave you a job that they've always wanted to have. And before they could come in, take things to the next level, they had to make sure that they landed that job. And somebody did. Somebody did. Like, <laughs> I just literally saw the whole thing play in my head. Like, that's the craziest thing ever. Like, it's sad that they had to lie in the first place, but that lie like i don't think that they planned on actually getting like a chance with you i don't think they planned on you actually seriously liking them or you actually seriously you know letting them get as far as letting this connection go as far as it had um and they weren't about to i'm hearing they're gonna tell you eventually they're gonna tell you eventually um but it's like this is somebody who didn't want you to judge them based on and it's not you. Sorry, there's so many things, like I'm literally seeing the story in my head and I'm trying to keep up with it so I can keep you guys clued in, but it's not you where they look at you and we're like, yeah, they're gonna judge me if I don't have this, this and this. No, 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 honey. That's not the case. It's whoever they were with before always used to say, oh, my ex had this or my ex used to do this for me and my ex used to. So this person kind of got into the like loop of comparing themselves to people based on how they were treated in the past. So this person wanted to come in and knock you off your socks. But at the end of the day, they weren't gonna lie to you and pretend that they had some job that they didn't actually have if you're actually trying to get serious with them. So either way, they're gonna t tell you the truth, um, but they thought it would be better if they actually just worked, at their, like, worked as hard as they could to actually get that job. Like, that's actually so crazy that this person had done that and had accomplished it because this is somebody who's not, like this is somebody who needs a little bit more um, time, I'm hearing six to eight more months to be able to get the position that they ended up getting. So it was pure like determination. I'm not like saying lying is good or anything because I know, you know, this isn't like, this is sounding a little bit positive when it's like a lie, um, but I'm just saying like, somebody definitely stretched the truth because they wanted you to see them for what they are capable of, not what they've achieved so far. Somebody might have also had like a bad hand, um, held, like dealt to them, so they're not blaming that bad hand or anything or allowing that to control them. It's just that like, they might have had a later start than many because of that bad hand that they were dealt. something just told me there's two twos 
Wow, Awakening and Empress. Gorgeous cards together. Awakening and Empress. Some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius. I have Aquarius here, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. And Eight of Swords in the Tower. Ooh, very opposite energy. This person just absolutely sees you as an empress. And I think that for some of you, you have somebody coming into your life to help you awaken um, into your true power, into your true purpose in life here. Some of you that are in a relationship, you need to be careful because I do sense with this empress and this tower energy, there is definitely gonna be like, if you're not wanting um, children around this time, be very, very careful because I feel like you're, e you, um, you're easily going to um, be able to conceive around this time. You're easily going to be able to get pregnant. So that is, you know, for some of you, it's going to be a huge tower moment finding out that you're pregnant. Some of you are currently pregnant right now and you're actually unaware of that. Um, some of you guys have been getting a lot of like vivid dreams or very, very different, strange dreams. And as much as they probably make no sense, you're actually being called to write them down because there's a message in every single dream you're having. Every single dream you're having has, um, okay, so not just a message, an answer, an answer within the message. Just give me one second, guys. All right. So, Eight of Swords with the Tower, whatever you're thinking is going to manifest. So if you're thinking the worst, know that you're actually manifesting the worst. So you have to be very, very um, careful about what you're thinking and what you are speaking into existence what you're feeling, all of those things, you need to be very aware and you need to make sure that if it is anything negative that you are flipping it and replacing it with a positive because you are really in a very strong manifestation mode. Others of you, this is saying that there is something that has been on your mind um, related to somebody. So this could be, you know that somebody's lying to you, you know that there's somebody that's being mis, um, you know, maybe cheating, whatever the case may be. You are very, you know, skeptical of a certain person in your life, whatever the case is here. You are right. There's something on your mind that you don't have proof of that can't, um, you can't get it off your mind. It keeps replaying and replaying and replaying over and over again. And you're going to find out that whatever it is that you are thinking, whatever it is that you are intuitively um, receiving messages about is true. And it's definitely going to cause a tower moment and there's definitely going to be somebody that is going to be removed from your life, but it is ultimately going to be for your highest good. And I do feel like this is when you go into this awakening slash empress energy. You're going to awaken um, to the truth that you've always known and um, go into this empress energy because some of you have said this person was what was holding you back this whole entire time. It was the energy of this person that was holding you back. And without that, you end up, you know, raising to a level that um, was always waiting for you. Those of you that have been thinking about dyeing your hair, it's actually a really good time for you to change up your hair, for you to dye your hair, cut your hair, whatever the case is. If there's anything that you've been wanting to do aesthetically related to your hair and your clothing, it's going to be a very uh, good time for you to tap into that right now. If you've been wanting to start any kind of spiritual practice, if you've been wanting to, you know, break in any kind of routine, don't wait till New Year's. Do it now. Start now you have a good chance of whatever you start within, you know, between now and the 15th of December, you have a good chance of that being very easily brought into a schedule for you. So without trying it, after doing it a couple times, you're gonna feel as if you've been doing it your whole entire life and you're just gonna be so used to doing it, it's just gonna fall into place. You can easily rebuild a new schedule.
Show me what Virgo needs to see. Six of Cups, strong soulmate energy coming in here. If you have children with somebody who you're not currently with, this person is going to be um, expressing their love for you. Regardless of what happened between the two of you guys, is this somebody that is so madly in love with you? There's nobody that this person wants more than you, but I feel like when you were with this person, that was the last thing that you would have ever guessed because their actions definitely did not match up with that. If you're already in a long-term relationship, I do sense that there is a long-term relationship coming in really quickly for you. Um, something that you're going to be very satisfied in that's going to make you very happy. This person is just going to feel right. Everything is just going to fall into place around the time that you um, meet this person. It would be very beneficial for you to get some sort of flowers and place them in your room. Um, actually, I'm hearing in your kitchen. If you live on your own in your kitchen, if you live with somebody else, um, place them in your room is what I am getting because the flowers kind of need just mainly your energy. So if you're single, you live by yourself, place them in um, the kitchen. But if you have children, if you have a family, oh, sorry guys. Um, children, a family, if you have uh, roommates, then definitely place it in your room because the flowers need to take in just your energy is what I'm getting. It's a very low-key reading, like laid-back reading, so it's kind of just like I do feel like for this month there isn't going to be anything major, anything drastic that's going to happen. If we're being completely honest, I do feel like that's going to be more December where you're going to start seeing changes, making changes, making moves. I kind of feel like this is going to be a lot of awakenings, a lot of coming into your own and a lot of like preparing, whether it's preparing your hairstyle uh, for the energy that you're going to be embracing all December, preparing your new wardrobe for the energy, you know what I mean? Preparing yourself, maybe you're going to realize that this isn't the place that you want to live anymore and you want to make a difference. Um, you want to make a change and you're going to move somewhere that you've always wanted to move or you're just going to move in general because you're just kind of bored of the city that you're in. But it's awakening to the changes that need to be made and doing whatever it is that needs to be done so that as soon as December hits, you can just go, go, go up, make those changes. Somebody is very attracted to your body. Somebody here has a very curvy body. Um, very, very beautiful curvy body here. I'm sensing somebody that's quite short, to be honest. Quite short. Somebody who dresses a little bit more on the casual side. Make the effort and passion. So make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Like I said, there is somebody here that feels very passionate about you. There's somebody here that doesn't want to take their hands off of you. With all this passion going around in this air, it's like there's this, this extra seductive quality that's surrounding you. And that's why I'm getting this strong sense of baby making around this time. Um, like somebody is going to make a baby and they're going to know exactly the moment that it happened. Like, you're just going to look at this person and you guys are just going to know. Or you on your own. But somebody is going to be very, very much aware. They're just going to sense it intuitively. With make the effort, you know, it's like, it's time for you to stand up for what is you truly want in a relationship and a connection. Don't settle for anything less. Make sure your needs and your wants are being heard. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you. If you would like to purchase a personal reading, the link will be in the description box below for anybody who wants to get more clarity on their situation. 
Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, as that always means the world to me. Um, last thing, this is my birthday month, so I am asking for every single one of you to just take a quick second out of your day and to follow my personal Instagram. That is an Instagram that I'm trying to um, grow so that I can start posting some other content over there that I think you guys would all enjoy. So if you could just take two seconds of your day to go over there and follow that channel, that would be very greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. And I will see you guys next week. Take care, my loves.